Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines are messenger RNA or mRNA vaccines. These vaccines are a new type of vaccine to protect against infectious diseases like COVID. Once an mRNA vaccine is injected into cells, it gives them instructions for how to make a harmless protein called a spike protein that is unique to the COVID virus. Next, our cells display the spike protein on their surfaces and then our bodies recognize that the spike protein should not be there and, th and it builds defensive white cells that remember how to fight the virus if we are exposed to it in the future. After the spike protein is made, our cells break down the mRNA instructions so they do not stay in our bodies. Vaccines are only authorized in the EU once the European Medicines Agency has been satisfied that safety, effectiveness and quality of the vaccine has been demonstrated. So far, two vaccines have been authorised for use, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and the Moderna vaccine. Clinical trials have shown that the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is 95% efficacious. This means that there was a 95% reduction in the number of symptomatic COVID-19 cases in the people who received the vaccine compared with people who received a dummy or placebo injection. Efficacy was calculated in over 36,000 people from 16 years of age who had no sign of previous infection. Eight out of approximately 18,000 people who were given the vaccine got COVID-19 with symptoms. However, this compared with 162 out of approximately 18,000 people who received the dummy or placebo injection who got COVID-19 with symptoms. The trial also showed around 95% efficacy in the participants at risk of severe COVID-19, including those with asthma, chronic lung disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, or a body mass index greater than or equal to 30. The high efficacy was also maintained across genders, racial, and ethnic groups. So the second COVID-19 vaccine to be approved is the Moderna vaccine. This is also an mRNA vaccine and it demonstrated a 94.1% efficacy in a clinical trial. This means that there was a 94% reduction in the number of symptomatic COVID-19 cases in people who received the vaccine compared with people who received the dummy or placebo injection. The efficacy was calculated at around 28,000 people from 18 to 94 years of age who had no sign of previous infection. 11 out of approximately 14,000 people who were given the vaccine got COVID-19 with symptoms. However, this compared with 185 out of approximately 14,000 people who received the dummy or placebo injection who got COVID-19 with symptoms. The trial also showed 90.9% efficacy in, particip in participants at risk of severe COVID-19, including those with chronic lung disease, heart disease, obesity, liver disease, diabetes, or HIV infection. The high efficacy was again also maintained across genders, racial and ethnic groups. The rollout of these vaccines gives us all a very genuine cause for hope that brighter days are ahead. The new vaccines will probably prevent you from getting COVID-19, but no one knows yet whether they will keep you from spreading the virus to others. Therefore, we still need to wash our hands. We still need to wear masks and practice physical distancing until a large proportion of the population is vaccinated and we are sure that the vaccines can provide long-term protection.